Guys, what's going on? Your boy Amar here. Doing a very unique review today. Like I've done on many other ones. Today my review is 2003 Hummer H2. What is it? Uh, let me see. 13. 14 years later, do I regret it? I repeat, 2013 Hummer H2. Sorry, 2003 Hummer H2. 14 years later, do I regret it? Was it a mistake? How much did I spend on it then? How much is it worth now? Am I stupid? And did I blow my money? So let's get down to the nitty gritty. 2003 Hummer H2. Back in 2003, I bought this vehicle. It was a white everyday Hummer H2. I bought it for over 100K. We bought this sucker, brought it home, okay? Now this bad boy is sitting at 25. Just a truck, a Hummer, 2003 Hummer loan is sitting at about 20K, 25 max if it's a mint. So right now, 80,000 bucks hit the ground, dropped. Okay, I'm down 80 G's. All right, next thing I did, I bought the Xenon body kit from LA. Cost five grand, got it shipped here. Got It was a rough job. I got it installed and painted in the shop. I paid another shop, I paid the shop another four grand to get it painted, put on there. And next thing you know, we own the biggest wheel shop in town. So I tucked a nice set of 28 inch rims on here. Big 28 inch wheels, deep dish. With a Lionheart 325, 35, 28 tires. Okay, so those are another 10 grand of wheels. So I dropped my own personal money in this vehicle and to top it off look at the interior boys let me just open up the sucker freaking clunker let me see here the uh, power doesn't work better than manually Let's see here all right so look at that look at that beautiful interior I paid with my own money this was another 10 grand on the interior white and orange leather okay guys but that's not the point so 2013 so sorry fuck, I keep saying that 2003 now, do I regret it? Well, first off the bat, I did lose value, all right? I lost the money of the vehicle that I spent on it, and I'm not getting it back. So if you're looking at a financial point, if you're an advisor, if you know something about money, you would say, you know what, buddy? You lost. Okay, big deal. Now, do I regret it? Well, at the time, like I said, I did another review similar to an 07, and the points are still the same. Like, I don't regret it because at that time, I pimped this bad boy all over town, Toronto, Niagara Falls. It was a great ride, a great time, a lot of memories. But now that I'm sitting at this vehicle 14 years later, 14 years have passed in my life, a lot changed. I've gone older, I've more matured from a young man to adult. My values have changed. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna sell it or not because it's sentimental and I dropped a shitload of money in it that I'm not gonna get back in. Financial standpoint, I lost big time, okay? I could've put some money down on real estate. I could've put it down in the house. I could've invested in gold. But like every 20 year old, Went to the dealership, got a briefcase, dropped the cash on this sucker, okay? So now look, but this thing's beautiful. We call it the Great White. It's all over YouTube. It's world famous in my music videos now. Do I regret it? Financially, yes, but personal level, not really, because you know what? If I would have put the money away in an account, maybe I would have got some sh shitty freaking two bucks a month interest from my bank. I'd be sitting there doing diddly squat. But the amount of enjoyment and everything that I got out of this vehicle, you know what? I don't regret it because at the end of the day I did drive this vehicle and then I got the interior painted custom orange and everything and all done. It's got the V8 Vortec, you know, so I'm gonna just hop in this sucker right here and get down to the nitty gritty. So I don't really regret it because at the end of the day it's a great looking Hummer, you know, like I enjoy it very much and uh, if you want, if Hummers are an amazing vehicle, they don't make them anymore. GM did sell it off to China. So what are you gonna do, right, you know? You can't really complain about that, but it rides great. It's been well maintained. I do all the maintenance. It's got low K. It's only saying about 100K. It's a beautiful vehicle. Like, it's all painted white. Body kit's done. And you know what, guys? I'm sure there's more things that you can spend your money on better than this. But at the end of the day, you won't be able to find a Hummer like this anymore or get the parts for it. At that time, I bought them when all these kits and things were in production. Now they don't make Hummer anymore. So now I'm up Creek. Okay, CompuStar Arm. For you guys watching it, you won't be able to pick this one up, all right? Beautiful vehicle. The rims, they don't, they don't make these rims anymore for Hummers. So you're shit out of luck if you need to get a rim made. They're done. I got the clear lights on the top, they're done. Beautiful chrome kit I got done. Now I don't regret this, I love this vehicle. I love my Hummers, I'm a Hummer freak. I'm Hummer crazy. At the end of the day, it's a personal value. And you know what, I don't regret it. The 07 I bought I do because it's a base SUT. But this 03, for what I got into it, and the amount of fame it looks it got, I'm glad I bought this vehicle. And 14 years later, ladies and gentlemen, after 14 years of my life has gone by, 
I fucking love this vehicle. I'm a Hummer freak. I'm Indian, Punjabi, and we love our Hummers. All the Indians now, my fellow Punjabis, are all going to Jeeps now because they can't get Hummers no more. You can't touch a Hummer with the price, and you can't get a Hummer with this kind of accessories. And I'm getting asked all the time by my local brownies, say, you know, buddy, you want to sell this? You want to sell it? I said, I'm not going to sell this. 14 years I held on to this sucker. What's another 14 years? Guys, thanks for watching. It's Amar. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Comment below, guys. Stop being lazy. You guys ain't showing me no jack shit support on Instagram. Let's show everybody in this world that the automotive industry is the biggest and baddest industry in town. Thanks for watching, boys. We have 5 minutes, 38 seconds. Peace, love, prosperity, and Godspeed.